Guys, I'm really excited today. So, this is gonna be another unboxing video. Joe from Qualify Products, who makes that Maverick reel, um, he sent me a box. I uh, had ordered something from him, and when I did, I ordered another set of reels. Um, I needed a larger one, so there's going to be a larger reel. But when I did order, um, he told me he has a new product that he's coming out with, and it's a, a waiting staff. Full carbon fiber. And I think a pretty darn good deal. Just like his reels. I mean, it's, it's all really good products. Quality products, but for good deals, which I like. I don't like spending a ton of money. I know you don't either. All right, so there's a few things I'm getting. He also, on his website, sells these. They're just spoolers for spooling on new line. I have a tough time getting the line put on myself. Um, it's easy when you got someone holding a pencil and kind of spooling it up for you, but um, I always ended up getting line twists, so I got that. It was seven bucks. Um, maybe ten bucks. I don't remember the price. Yeah, I think it's ten bucks. I got new reels. So we'll wait for the waiting staff <laughs> towards the end. Make you guys wait. I know you've seen these reels already, but um, here we go. All right, so I needed a new spool, so this is going to be a spool for the um, uh, five weight that I have, the four five, so four weight, five weight. Um, need another spool so I can throw on a, a sink tip line for my five and four weights. Here is his large reel, so this is the six seven eight. Pretty cool. This is definitely a much larger reel. So this is going to be for my six weight or eight weight, okay? So this is just an extra reel. I've got, so I've got this for my six weight right now, but it only can hold this line, and this is a uh, one foot per second sink tip. Um, I wanna get a floating line also on top of that. So I'm gonna throw the floating line on. Now you can see this is a little larger of a reel. This is actually a five, six reel. This is a six, seven, eight reel. Okay, so this is larger, but I can do that. I can throw on a floating line or I can throw on um, So I'll be in the next couple months getting a few more spools from him because they're not badly priced the spools are pretty cheap um, and uh, You know so I can get you know two or three spools and throw on some eight weight line and whatnot and bring that with me um, When I go that's the problem I'm having is when I go out fishing uh, with my streamer rod and you know I have to bring a different rod with me now I always you should <laughs> I learned the lesson I one time forgot to bring uh, an extra rod with me and snap my rod and then I had to go home um, so it's always good to have an extra rod but when you're actually walking on the river you're hiking far you don't want to carry a bunch of rods so I you know I try not to do that I'll leave it in the car it's pretty not a big fan of the turquoise, honestly. I'll be honest, but it's it is pretty. Um, and he says he he sells a lot of these to like people in Florida um, in the Gulf, fishing for redfish. You know, bigger bigger fish. And this would be a very pretty color down there. That kind of matches that area. It's a lot of you know turquoise and and you know um, pastel type colors um, that are popular down there. So yeah, there's that. Um, very pretty, but again, it's not going to match my other stuff, but that's okay. Now, here comes the waiting staff. Boy, that's compact and light. There's no weight to this. Um, but this is a full-size waiting staff. How cool. All right, so, looks like it comes with an extra, um, uh, whatever that is called. I don't even know. Um, that's cool. So this can actually clip to your, with a little clip here, the whole carrying case like this can clip to your bag if you want. That's nice. He said it's carbon fiber. It's all carbon fiber. So...
Well, that's good. So this will clip. This stays on the, the, the actual staff, okay? Not just this, not the case. This is all carbon fiber, and it breaks down, right? And then you can just piece it together. So it makes it smaller, and then you can just stick them together like this. And then you pull this section up, and it locks right in. And there we go. That's not going to come apart. It's all carbon fiber, so it's super light. And I think he's selling them for $79. $79.99, $80, somewhere around there. Um, thing is that, you know, you go with any other brand, um, you're going to end up... Uh, spending 150 or more dollars. I think Sims makes a carbon fiber one light like this, but it's 100, 159 bucks or something like that. Um, also, from what I'm noticing, the handle here is really nice, super ergonomic, um, and I don't think they it's as nice on the Sims. Um, that's my opinion. But, yeah, I mean, you know, for, for anything all carbon fiber, that's that's pretty good deal, I think. But it's just really nice that it breaks apart. It is tall, it is high. It's probably higher than where you're seeing on the camera right now. Um, but I'm short, so it might honestly be a little high for me. I'm five foot, seven and a half. I'm not that, I have to throw the half in there. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty short, I'm not very tall. But um, I mean, it's not bad. You know, it's up to, about where my chest is, but um, I think that's so that way, you know, generally when you're using a wading staff, you're in deeper water, and so that allows it to be up higher over the water. Um, also, for people that are um, taller, about six foot or more, um, this would be perfect, um, perfect height for them. And, I mean, it's really not bad for my height. It's not adjustable, um, but in reality, most of them are not. Um, I think Sims makes one that's adjustable, um, but again, we're talking 100, 159 bucks. And it's only adjustable to four inches, so we're talking that much shorter. So we're adjusting not much. So that wouldn't really do a whole lot anyway. It would still be to here, which you know, um, it still makes it 51 inches. I think theirs is this one not much more I don't think it is so this is this is a good height I think um, so that, that's that that's the waiting staff I'm pretty excited about using it um, allow me to get a little deeper in the water catch some uh, other fish that I wouldn't normally be able to reach out to um, you know fish some spots with a little more um, confidence too because I get a little worried sometimes out there especially a new river I'm not used to I don't want to, you know, step in a hole and fall. I've had that happen a few times, and it's not fun. So this will be good. I like it. I like it a lot. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for sending that. All right, so I am doing a backpack trip tomorrow, and I'm going to head up to a little place called Spud Lake. I'm not 100% sure if Spud Lake is frozen over, so we'll see. We'll see, but I am bringing fly rod. I don't have a backpack fly rod yet, I just don't. It's not a backpack fly rod, but it is a four piece and it kind of fits, okay? So this is what I'm bringing. I just kind of wanted to go over this really quick with you guys. And this video should be out next week for me actually doing the backpacking trip. I'm going with Carter. We're gonna go stay the night up there, see if we can't get into some fish. I'm not bringing a ton of flies. Up there I think it's gonna be a lot of dry fly fishing. So, ton of dry flies. Um, and on this side, I've got some other dry flies, some larger size, like hopper patterns. Brought some stream. I'm bringing some streamers just, just in case. This is a five weight I'm bringing. This is my five weight. I've got a bunch of little nymphs and midges. And then I've got my, uh, by the way, everything's in baggies. It's kind of how I like doing it, stuffing them in baggies. Keeps everything dry. Um, you know, it can rain and stuff. So I just stuff everything in baggies, keeps it organized. Um, this is my water system, my water purification system. I rarely use it, but it's a really good one. Um, Sawyer, I think it's called. Yeah, there you go, Sawyer. So 
that works really well. Um, this is basically a whole bunch of uh, fire starting stuff. I put a bunch of lint from the dryer, dryer lint in there. Um, I like using that. Uh, a lot of people will use uh, uh, cotton balls, um, but that's basically my, my tinder in case we have trouble finding it. Got a Swedish fire stick. Um, threw a whistle in there also, just in case. Um, got magnesium, like everyone uses. A lighter, so just a bunch of ways to start a fire. You don't want to go without fire. Uh, this is basically toiletries and food. So I've got some snacks, some of the mountain house um, meals, got two of those, a breakfast and a dinner one. Um, you know, we might, if it's fishable, um, you can keep the fish up there. We might keep one each and eat that too. So, um, but we've got some snacks. Uh, zip ties just in case they're just nice and handy to have obviously toilet paper you definitely want toilet paper toothbrush toothpaste stuff like that so this is my medical bag as well I'm going to be bringing just uh, it's got a whole bunch of stuff just in case I need it it's always good to have medical stuff so hand sanitizer Advil um, yes a condom got other uses not I'm not bringing it for that reason <laughs> there's definitely good uses uh, medically wise, um, you know, it's sterile. Um, there's multiple different reasons. Uh, antibiotic, ointment, stuff like that. Just sunburn cream, alcohol spray, band-aids, sting relief swabs, um, sutures I've got in there. Uh, gauze, just, you know, Curad pads big ones so basically everything you would need not everything but most it's always good to carry some kind of medical pack even for just an overnight trip change of clothes basically um, an extra pair of boxers t-shirt an extra shirt uh, some gloves and this is my cooked set so the big one I use to boil water when I'm out there, um, just because I can put a whole lot of water in there and get a lot boiling. I don't have to make multiple trips back. And then I've got this kind of put together. So I put paper on top because it keeps this from clashing around while I'm moving. Um, and I just stuff stuff in there. So I've got some almond butter, extra pair of socks. A, um, another, uh, some matches, waterproof matches, and a lighter in case you lose the other ones or whatever. I've got a cliff bar. Um, this is some twine, some juniper twine, and that's really good for fire starter in case I need. So, this is some electrolyte mix. So, basically, I just throw stuff, a bunch of stuff in there. Paper towels on top, plus, those can double as fire starter if you need. But it's really important to keep things from rattling around because that could get really annoying while you're out trying to camp and walk around and get to your spot hiking. It's a pain in the butt. And that fits nicely right in there. The top doesn't really stay on on this one, but... Bug spray, very important. This is a small little handy one, kind of nice. Um, got some baby wipes, which are really nice to have. Clean your hands off before eating, whatever. Um, if you got room for it, throw it in, you know. Uh, duct tape, always really handy. Paracord, really important. Always have paracord with you. My knife, so I've got this. This is my, this is a really good knife. It's my favorite. It's called the Bob Brothers of Bushcraft Knife by Tops. It's a little heavy. It really is. It is a heavy knife, but it's nice. So you can do a lot of chopping with it. Um, it's the right size where you can kind of get in and do some small work. Um, you know, but you can, you can get, you know, basically you can chop through most branches with this. Um, and then you can do a lot of, I mean, it's really heavy duty. You can grab another stick, let's pretend that's a stick, and you can do the uh, battering and split wood with it. And that's how I do my splitting of wood. So that's nice. Um, another small one is also by Tops. Is basically, it's the, the, I think it's called the Mini Scandi or something like that, but it's, 
I, get, I have it to go with this. So the small, once you get into the really small pieces, if you really need to do small work or split the really thin pieces to get them to like pencil size, um, this is nice. I like having the second one and this is really pretty light. It doesn't take a lot of room. And I put a lanyard on, sometimes I'll just put it around my neck like so. Really important for processing larger uh, limbs. Uh, this has come in a lot and handy a lot. This is a Laplander um, saw and it's great. I mean, I can get through a pretty decent log like that in about a minute and a half, two minutes if I really work at it. Towards the end of the day, it becomes a little longer. <laughs> but uh, bear spray, I think it's really important. It is bear territory where we're at. There's also mountain lions. So I've seen them up there. Um, generally, they're not gonna mess with you, but it is important to have it with you. Obviously, I have to take my camera gear. Um, I just opened this up to grab a SD drive for the camera I'm using up here, um, which I'll have to dump off and then put back in before I go tonight. And I'm going in the morning tomorrow or tomorrow afternoon. Um, but obviously my camera equipment, extra batteries, really good to keep that nice and sealed uh, so water doesn't get in and ruin the batteries. I've got extra SD drives. By the way, I just picked this up and I'm really happy about it. Um, it'll keep all my SD drives nice and uh, I just film all the time, so everywhere I go outside, I'm filming. There's kind of a nice little wallet for it, and it keeps all of them. Uh, let's see. So I just got this tent. It's a new one. I had an older one. It started getting holes and whatnot. I like it. Um, you know, I haven't used it yet out there, but I did a lot of review. I read a lot of reviews, and um, it's small enough. Uh, it seems a little big because in this pack, but you can. You can kind of roll it like that and stick it in. Um, I actually find that it seems to fit better just flat like that. And I can stick things in front, lighter stuff, right? That'll go up against me, kind of gives a little more um, support on your back anyway. So that's nice, the Salada 2, so it's two-person tent technically. Um, it's a little small for two people, uh, but you know, you're not out there for comfort. I've got obviously the footprint that goes with the tent, that's gonna keep the tent from, uh, I mean, this is not very heavy, it's very light. If it's a really long range trip and I, have, I don't have a lot of room in the tent and the bag, I probably won't bring this, but for today, we're only going one night, um, that, that's fine to bring. Um, if I was going multiple nights, I had to bring more food, then obviously I wouldn't bring that. Um, but it is nice to use that as much as possible, it keeps the bottom of the tent nicer. Um, Last longer. So I've got this tarp. Um, it's called Noah's tarp from Kelty. I like it. I really like Kelty stuff. Um, obviously, the Noah's tarp is is great. This is the nine foot by nine foot. It's just nice to have an extra tarp out there in case it starts raining and you don't want to be in the tent. You can put that up and at least have some shelter, sit under it, whatnot. If you got room, bring it. If not, that type of thing. Um, I've got a zero degree sleeping bag because it will get to about 10 degrees uh, up there. I've got a zero, I've also got a 40 degree for the summer. Um, it's still cold up there, so I'm bringing my, my zero. And I just, I'm really excited about this bag. I just got this bag, a new one. Um, had another one that worked great. It actually held a little more, it was bigger. But it just, it wasn't as comfy. This is a lot more comfy, it's gonna be a little easier. I, I, I'll have to bring that bigger one on longer trips if I need to carry more stuff. But this has got a lot of support. You can see there's a lot of support here. Um, and it wasn't bad. I think this is 89 bucks. Um, the tent I just got, and that was 120 or so. Actually, I think this was 69, 79, somewhere around there. It was pretty cheap. It was not that expensive, but it's a very nice bag. I like it. So there's an extra storage compartment down here that's easy access. They say it's for a sleeping bag. Um, I think my zero degree is just a little big to fit in there. Um, so I'm gonna put my camera equipment in there. And that. That way it's easy for me to grab my camera equipment. Usually, that would be a sleeping bag, and if the sleeping bag didn't fit, then uh, like it doesn't this time, then it would be something a little more important, easy to get to. But since I film, that's the most important that I have to get to quicker. 
Um, unfortunately, that adds extra weight, but not that much. It's not that bad. Um, I have tea that I always bring with me. It's just nice in the morning to have tea. I just grab some. My wife always drinks tea. I usually do coffee, but I don't have an espresso machine or, or any kind of machine to make coffee up there. Um, so tea works great. Just heat up the water and stick the tea bags in and you're good to go. Um, so I put that out in the, there's a mesh pocket right out in front, just easy to get to along with the, with the uh, bug spray. In the side compartment here, I put the bear spray. Now it's got a belt clip, so I'll put that on my belt when I'm actually going. And then on the other side here, I'm going to put the two knives. And they fit in there. Now those will come right out when I start hiking. I usually strap that knife right to my um, my person, right on my belt. I put the Laplander over with the bear spray. I already had to put this together. I had to take it apart to be able to show you guys what I had in there. All right, so let's move everything out of the way. Let's start loading it. So basically, it's just this giant area in here. That's how most of these backpacking tents are. Um, I stick, as I have said, my tent goes in first, and then I put some of the smaller, lighter items in front of it, stack it up in front, okay? And then I usually like putting the least important stuff down, okay? Obviously, you want to go by weight too, but generally this is a pretty light bag. I think we're talking about 40 pounds total, 30 maybe, and it's not a long hike, so um, just basically start loading your bags, kind of compress it as it goes down. Food, medical kit, kind of want that on top in case Carter or I fall while we're walking, hiking up there. And I know it's silly, put this on top, but you know, honestly, if we see it, you know, a couple trout rising, there's a few streams on the way up while we hike where we're going. We can just grab it, make it a little easier. Obviously the pot, that really could go below everything, but oh well. This has a nice little stuff sack, so you can do that. Kind of push everything down, that drawstring kind of thing. And then it's got a secondary one right here. You can kind of get even more down. And then there's a nice little, I really do like this bag. It's pretty nice for really quick to access stuff. So fire starting stuff right in the top, goes up under there. Water purification, stick up in there. And those two are probably the most important things to have with you. More so than a tent, more so than anything. Without fire and cold and ice, doesn't matter what kind of tent or whatever you got, um, you know, you need that fire. You also need water, so those are important. i put those there. And then you can draw everything down. There we go, a pretty compact bag. Sometimes I bring a pad with me and I'll wrap it, but this bag just doesn't fit in this pack right now. And uh, I don't really need a pad. I'm just sticking the straps under. The sleeping bag itself has some compression straps. That'll kind of keep it from wobbling. And then you can also tighten it. go. It's not moving. And the side here, it's got these uh, um, like water bottle holders. However, yep, that's the right side. I am going to put this there. Now, it doesn't have any straps to hold it, except for this. It's got this. So, I did that, and then I kind of wrapped this around it.
just like so, and that should hold like that. Now, of course, this is not, obviously, it's not a backpacking rod, so it doesn't fully fit in my bag. This is the importance of having a backpacking rod, and that's why I'm doing it this way. You know, uh, otherwise I would stick it right in the pack on the side, or, you know, on the back there, or whatever. Um, but it's, uh, it is what it is, so that's what I gotta do. So, because I don't have a backpacking rod right now, I'm looking into getting one. Um, I really do want to get one, because I do these trips all the time, and it is a pain to bring this. Um, today I'm bringing, it's not a sage rod, even though this is a sage, uh, tube. I just like the tube a lot better. It's more heavy duty. Um, it'll protect the rod a little more while I'm out there. Plus it's lighter. I've got another one that's pretty heavy. So this will kind of save a little weight. But there we go. I'm all set and ready to go. Um, one last thing I do bring, and I bring every single time, is my 9mm handgun. I'm allowed to bring it up there. Um, it's legal. Some places they're not, so um, you know, make sure you read the regulations. But where we're going, it is legal to have that have a gun with you, a firearm. And I always bring it. Never had to use it, hope I never will. Um, but you never know, you might get a crazy person up there at night trying to rob you. Um, there are mountain lions in the area. Obviously a nine millimeter is not gonna do a single thing against a bear, but I've got that bear spray. Uh, but uh, mountain lion, it's, gonna, it's more or less gonna scare it. I don't think it would kill a mountain lion. It could, probably wouldn't kill it dead in its tracks, but it would scare it away for sure. And it's not gonna come back at you if, um, if you're shooting at it. They're just, they're, they're not very, uh, they're kind of scaredy cats. Hence, you know, they're, they are a cat, so they're skittish. Now the back here is adjustable on this. You can adjust this up and down. You can see where this one's adjusted. You can pull it down a little further through these. In fact, this is actually pretty good for my back. Um, I'm happy where it's at. Might need to bring it down just a smidget. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's do that real quick. So we're one, two, three from the bottom. They say it fits up to six foot four guys or something like that. From what I remember, I'm only almost five eight, <laughs> and. Uh, That'll probably fit me a little better. So there we go. Uh, this does have a lot of padding. This, you can see, is really thick. Nice, a lot of padding. A lot more than my other bag had. The other one was a little more, you know, it's just not as nice. Um, but for 80 bucks, I couldn't say no to this. I got it on Amazon. And by the way, most of the stuff that I got, I shop a lot on Amazon because I trust it. And I know they're gonna give me quality products. So everything I have here, I'll put links to Amazon where you can get it if you're interested. So I can't wait, going tomorrow. We're gonna get a late start. I think he can't, he can't leave till about five. So luckily it's getting dark around 8.30. So we'll have at least an hour or two, hi hey, Zoe. An hour or two to kind of get um, set up and ready. It takes about an hour, hour and a half to hike up the mountain to where we're going. Um, so it'll give us an extra hour probably to set up and then a little bit of time before it gets real dark. Thanks everyone for continued prayer with my dog. She's, uh, you know, she's doing okay. She's a good girl. And uh, she's not doing great, but she's doing okay. Here, let me show you guys one of those little tumors. There's one. If I can get this to focus. There's another one here on her head and they're just everywhere. Yeah, thanks for your continued prayers, guys. So, thanks for watching.